So on this channel, I always encourage keeping a dream journal. But a lot of people say to me, but Matt, keeping a dream journal is too much effort. I don't want to do it. What should you do? Let's find out. So I'm just interrupting this video to give a huge shout out to some of my Patreon supporters. First of all, Norijok, thank you for supporting the channel. And I also want to give a shout out to some supporters that I forgot to give credit to before. Long story short, there were some reward tier mix-ups, and so I want to give these three people a huge shout out right now. That's Mark Sutherin, Scholar Red, and Amanda Howard. Thank you for supporting the channel, and thank you to anyone else who currently is or has been a Patreon supporter in the past. Something that you might not know is that your contributions actually help even more at this time of the year, because this time of the year, around the start of the year, is when YouTube ad revenue basically goes terrible. So during this time, that support goes even further. Anyway, thanks again guys, let's get on to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to Tifro. It's me Matt here and today we're talking dream journals. Now, a common complaint among clients and among people viewing my videos is that they don't want to keep a dream journal because it's just too much effort. They don't remember to write in it in the mornings or they wake up and they just don't feel like it so they just don't do it. And they have trouble sustaining it as a result. So what's the solution? Well, the first thing that I suggest is to actually switch to a phone app rather than using a pen and paper journal if you're having trouble actually doing it. The reason for this is it's a lot simpler to just get up, you know, open up the app, you know, while you're still laying in bed even, and quickly type something in, save it, and that's it. Whereas if you have a pen and paper journal, you have to get up, you have to make sure it's light enough that you can see, you have to open it up, you get the pen or pencil, you start writing, and it kind of takes a little bit more time, a little bit more effort. Now the second thing that I recommend is keeping your initial dream journal entries brief. Now you can expand upon these entries if you like, but when you're writing a dream journal entry, try to keep it short initially. Try to think, if I had to sum up my dream to one of my friends in one or two sentences or a paragraph at most, how would I sum it up? Use that and write that down in your phone app, or if you do want to use a pen and paper journal, then write that down. Keep it short and that will make it easy for you to remember to do it every single day. It's not hard to write one or two sentences. Then, if you feel like it, expand upon the entry, do some dream analysis, write out a lengthier version of it if you really want to remember it, but just focus on writing down at least a sentence for each dream. This is one of those things that you don't want to skip. Yes, it can be frustrating at times, you don't want to do it, but just make it as easy for yourself as possible and you'll find that it really benefits your dream recall and your ability to lucid dream. Speaking of ability to lucid dream, I've put together a 17 part lucid dreaming audio course called Advanced Lucidity. In the course, you learn how to lucid dream, how to do all the things that you want to do in a lucid dream, and it holds your hands step by step, so you know what to do next. You're never left wondering what you should be doing. You follow the steps one by one, and by the end of it, you should have mastered lucid dreaming. If you like the sound of that, then check out the link up there. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to subscribe. If you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon page. And if you want to keep watching, pick one of the videos on screen, go watch that, and I will see you soon. Take care.